have talked a lot on this show about how joining the bone marrow registry can save lives. But this morning, we want to bring your attention to a startling statistic. Only 4% of the donor registry is made up of African Americans. And this is a stat that a young man named Jawan Adams is all too familiar with. He needs a donor match and he's only got a 23% chance of finding one because he's African American. So now Juwan is on a mission using his story as a call to action. In every marching band, the drum line is the heartbeat. And the heart of this band is 17-year-old Jawan Adams. The best part about being in a marching band is the competitions and getting to meet a bunch of other people. He's a devoted football fan. The Giants are my favorite team and the best team by far. With great taste. And in many ways, he's your typical teenager. I like to play basketball, hang out with my friends, I play video games. But this high school senior isn't counting down the days until graduation. He's counting down the days until he finds a blood stem cell donor. I was first diagnosed in April of 2016 with Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's really important that I find a match because it's really going to save my life. Diagnosed at the age of 13, Juwan began rigorous treatments. It was kind of hard to like tell people, oh, I have, I have cancer. But um, as I got older, I realized to be more comfortable knowing this is my life so I can tell more people. Over four years of multiple courses of radiation, chemotherapy, and a failed stem cell transplant, never once did Juwan's spirit falter. He's just always positive. Like, even when I think the news is terrible, he says, well, all the legends go through stuff. That's how they come, become legends. His unwavering courage on display while serving as lieutenant in the marching band, tutoring other students, volunteering, maintaining a 4.25 GPA, and getting inducted into the honor society. It's a never stop attitude. and It's never looking back, never feeling sorry for yourself. And when it came time for his birthday, he created an annual toy and book drive for others. I decided to collect toys to give to the hospital so kids would have things to do and stay positive. And that was like my birthday gift to give gifts to other kids. This last year, we collected over 7,000 toys and about 10,000 books. In May of 2019, Jawan received news that his cancer had spread to his lymph nodes. He is a lot sicker than people realize. He needs a full match stem cell transplant. The National Bone Marrow Registry, Be The Match, currently does not have a match for Juwan, partly because there are not enough African-American donors. So that's why we need as many people, especially minorities and mixed race individuals to sign up to be the donors. Juwan has now made this his cause. If you can, please join the registry. It could really save my life, and it could save thousands and thousands of lives. Jawan Adams is here with us in the studio, and we're also joined by Erica Jensen from Be The Match. Thank you both for joining us. And Jawan, incredible, incredible story. But you didn't just think about yourself when you did this. You set out to have a goal. You wanted to get, uh, you had a goal to get 1,000 people registered to be marrow donors. And you have you, you crushed that. That 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 was done before you knew it. But you have a new goal now. What is it? Um, my new goal is to set three thousand people on the registry with half of them being minorities. That would be fantastic because we don't have enough minorities, and that's really what this is all about. And we know that you need to find a donor, but you're not just here for yourself. What is the message you have out there for everybody? You want to put out for everyone? Um, there's not enough African Americans on the registry, and. Like me, this could save my life, but we're also looking to save a lot of other people's lives. So we need to come together and just make it happen. You know, we can all do this together. And, and Erica, thank you for joining us as well. And this is something we talked about before on the show. When it comes to registering or if you are a match, a lot of people have a misconception about how tough it is. Yes. That they have this, this thing that think it's a lot harder than it is, but explain exactly what happens. It's very easy to join the registry. You can go on right now. We have a campaign specially for Juwan. You can text Juwan to 61474. Go fill out some information. We'll send you a kit. You swab your cheeks, just really easy, 10 seconds, send it back to us in the mail. We'll type you and see if you're a match for a searching patient. 
And then for the actual donation process, it's really easy. There's a lot of movies and predictions about how terrible it is, but it's not that bad. We take it through the veins, similar to a blood draw. You donate the cells, we keep you comfortable and safe during the time, and then you could save a life for something so simple. Yeah, because a lot of people think it involves big needles yes. and all these things, if you yes. are the math, but that is not necessarily the case. That is not necessarily the case. About 80% of the time it is that simple procedure you just described. We're taking it through the blood, through the vein, cycling it out, getting those life-saving cells, and then transferring to a patient like Jawan who needs it and I think that's important for people to know that it is not as tough as you may believe it should be and it and is so make sure you please donate yes. and, and be a donor and, and the it, result is so amazing and the result is amazing because yes. you get a young man like this who's so driven Absolutely. and continues to push forward even throughout all of this yes. and once you are healthy I'm, I cannot wait to see what you're gonna do my friend and you know I found out while we we're doing this story and I'm watching that piece I found out you're a, uh, a New York Giants fan because you're wearing a Saquon Barkley jersey, I am. but then your mom had on an Eagles uh -oh. shirt, uh -huh. <laughs> and you live in Philly, so it must be tough. It is. T tell me about how tough Especially, that must be. Well, me and my dad are Giants fans, and then my mom and my little brother are diehard Eagles fans, and whenever the Giants play the Eagles, it's always who's going to win, like banging heads in the house, you know. <laughs> but um, I grew up just watching the Giants, you know. I knew you played for the Giants, one of my favorite players, you and Lawrence Taylor. Thank you. But um, Saquon and Eli Manning. But uh, I grew up and I just, I just like the Giants, you know. I like how much of a family they are. They win and lose together. That, that is true. We've been losing a lot together. <laughs> but <laughs> lately, lately we have. Yeah. And, you're, and your father's here. Your father's joining us. And, and Dad, how did you feel to see your son here trying to do so much with this for other people outside of just himself? So I'm proud of him, man. He's a remarkable young man. Um, and the drive and the goal that he has um, to save other people is what we're here for. But we really want to try to save him also. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And I know, you know, being in Philly, being in the house with that family of yours, you have that Saquon jersey. Uh -oh. I wanted to give you one of my old jerseys, man. Javon, yeah. that's from me to you. Thank you. You are the man, my friend. And we'll be praying and rooting for you. And for more information on becoming a donor, check out bethematch.org. All right? Make sure you guys do that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.